Hey everyone, um, before we get to baking, I just wanted to do a quick little video about um, uh, applying some materials to our half poly meshes before we, we do all that stuff, um, especially if you, before you start attaching everything together, it might be a bit uh, of a pain in the butt. Um, so I throw a pink material just on this guy for now, but what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to open up my material editor, and I don't know why, but all my things are black right now, but I'm going to just make um, a crap ton of materials and uh, with various colors and I'm going to name them appropriately just so I mentally know. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at my, my stand here and I'm going to start just splitting things out based on either materials or just whatever I happen to feel that they need. So let's say I'm going to take all my pipes. I'm going to make all my pipes blue. And I can call this material pipes. Um, I might go through and uh, even do these caps because they're kind of part of the pipe there. Um, and then maybe I'll do my wires here. Maybe I'll do them a different color. Do them like dark blue. Call this wires. There we go. Wires, 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 wires. There we go. And then maybe I'll do uh, whatever this one's like yellow or something. This will be for my tank. I'll do this tank yellow as well. And uh, just going to keep going with that. Um, so the reason I'm doing that, um, I'm just doing a video for what I just said. Uh, so the reason I'm doing that is just so when uh, we bake our, our textures, we can bake out all these colors. And um, we can use that in Photoshop and Substance and stuff like that to separate all this stuff out. Because um, again, if you're going to look at your low poly, um, let's see, there's my low poly here. take a look at our low poly. This is what your Photoshop's going to look like when you get it in there, except you won't have any edges, you'll just have ambient occlusion or normal maps, and some of these won't have very obvious details of where things are. Now, if you ask me to look at this and to tell you what the hell is what, I have no idea. <laughs> you know, some things I can guess. I'm like, this is maybe the monitor, the little monitor. This is a circle somewhere. <laughs> um, so I don't want to deal with that in Photoshop. So at least when I have this color map, at least I'll be able to kind of know more or less where my stuff is. Uh, some things you'll be able to do full elements on like this. Uh, some things you will not. So let's take a look at uh, this guy, for instance. All right, this guy here, he is friggin crazy and super high poly. Uh, what I'm going to want to do actually is I'm going to want to just have this screen in here be a different color. Uh, which is a giant, uh, looks like a giant pain in the butt. But what I might be able to do is just do a ring. Ooh, maybe not. Hopefully, you guys have better computers than I do. And um, what I can do is I can detach this to, um, or not detach it, just uh, convert it to a face by holding control. And the first thing I'm going to do is just for shits and giggles, I'm just going to throw this material on here. This will be my screens material. It's so slow, it doesn't like messing with high poly stuff. Go, go, go. All right, so I'm going to make my, my screens nice and green. Uh, so what I'm going to do, this is, I know, a little crazy, is I'm going to detach this thing. I'm just going to detach it as an object. It doesn't matter what the hell it's called. And I know that totally breaks my high poly, and it's going to look really stupid for a little bit. And once it finishes loading, computing, doing whatever. All right, so I detach that thing. Let's uh, let's just isolate that for a second. So now I have this big ring around here. I can go to my element select, and I've made the center bit its own element because I've detached that ring there. So I could go through and then just add a material on there.
right? Unhide. Cool, it's kind of looking jokerish. I like it. And then I could just attach this guy back on here. And then I could just um, select those edges and then weld the, the, the verts here. I'm not going to do this on my machine because it's going to take forever. If your machine's pretty good, you could just do a control A and open up this little weld dialog. And uh, this little guy will pop up and just put this to like zero centimeters because those verts are exactly on top of each other because you just attach them. So you know they're, they don't need a threshold at all. And uh, this is going to be a little while. And then um, that way I'll just weld them in there. And it's just it's a dumb but fairly quick way of selecting things. Again, especially if your machine isn't a giant pile of poop or your high poly isn't too crazy. Um, so do that for yeah faces. Um, I really recommend to do it for like bolts and like really small things because big things. I mean, really, I could have left this screen and picked it out in Photoshop. Cutting out a screen once is not a big deal in Photoshop. Oh. Um, cutting out a million little bolts, pain in the ass, right? Or the insides of circles, huge giant pain in the butt, right? So. Uh, and, uh, and then we'll be ready to bake.